Hi everyone. With Office 365, we've discussed a lot of different things. We've talked about email, which we moved over on October 20th. We've talked about OneDrive. Uh, we even have professional development going on with Microsoft Innovative Educator Program with 100 of our staff uh, that is being trained specifically by Microsoft uh, to be Microsoft Innovative Educators. Uh, this week, uh, we're going to talk about Link, which in January is going to become Skype for Business. So let's get into that. I'm using Office Mix this week for our podcast, so let's, uh, let's dive into it. One of the many changes that Office 365 is bringing is with Link. Microsoft Link is currently the web conferencing, video conferencing, and also uh, instant messaging product that we have built into Office 365. That is now combining with Skype and becoming Skype for Business. The solution to Office 365 offers audio conferencing, video conferencing, web conferencing, and instant messaging. So an example that I give you is, let's say you're in parent-teacher conferences and a parent, uh, for whatever reason, can't make it to the conference. Uh, you could conference those people into uh, Link or what's going to become Skype and have that conversation, have some collaboration and, and discuss and show things all within one interface. One of the exciting things about the integration of Skype and Link is Skype in the Classroom. Skype allows you to collaborate with other classes no matter where they are. You can also find guest speakers and invite them into your classroom or take a virtual field trip basically anywhere in the world. The nice thing about this Skype-inspired user experience is once Link becomes Skype for business, you'll have some familiarity with Skype and Link. So. The things that you are used to in Skype are going to transfer along in Link. It also works on most mobile devices, including iPhones, iPads, and Android devices. Let's take a look at conferences, and I'm going to give you a sneak peek in how conferences are going to look from first class into Office 365. Sites will be where we house conferences that come out of first class, and as you can look at this template, this is one of the first ones. You see this navigation on the left hand side. This is kind of where you'll navigate within the site that is for your particular school or department. As well as here we have a, this is a calendaring function. This is by event view and this will give you the events for that particular conference as well as down here a news feed that you can have discussions and uh, conversations. And then down here we have a documents which is a document repository basically like OneDrive that's built into the site to where everybody can have access to those documents. Here's another look at the same uh, template but changed just a little bit. This has a calendar view uh, and month view instead of an event view and so you can see that this is very customizable. We can change the look of this interface. This is a very basic one that we have um, but I'll continue to update you via podcast as, as we make changes to these. Thanks again for uh, listening today in the podcast, and again, go to o365.ops.org for any updates.